We're back. We're at Grill 29 in Huntsville, Alabama. And what is this section of town called? Uh, Providence. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's the Providence Village, I think. And there's a lot of neat restaurants and stuff here. There's a mellow mushroom that's really good. Plenty of outside seating, though today it's a little bit muggy and warm for that. So, anyhow, we've been here before, but we thought we'd take you with us today. So we'll show you a couple of quick clips of the restaurant from the outside, and then we'll get to some chow. Enjoy. Bye. finished eating. We did. And I had the hamburger. A huge hamburger. Really big. Huge. And it was hard for my petite little mouth. Monstrous. To get a good bite of it. Huge hamburger. Got completely lost in that giant pie hole. I promise you it did. She's petite. I have Her a very small mouth. Her mouth, on the other hand, is unusually large, yeah. which is funny because she has such a nice head, well proportioned to her body. Oh, thank you. But then, you're welcome. <laughs> but then you get to the mouth, and, and it looks normal until you watch her open it to consume food. And then you immediately think, how is she so petite? So anyway, I had the cheeseburger with it was uh, medium well and it had a fried over easy egg goodness gracious and excuse me a, it had an avocado on it and bacon jam oh my gosh bacon jam we be jamming my it is good stuff put the back on yeah be happy <laughs> i'm happy certainly are so anyway had bacon jam avocado fried egg cheese and caramelized onions that really 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 good we're not really caramelized well that was the only thing sauteed onions we all know what caramelized is caramelized takes a long time to do i was very hungry they could probably tell that i was hangry and so they just kind of sauteed them instead of caramelizing it that would be my guess okay. would you have honey <laughs> I had the uh, blackened chicken uh, on pasta alfredo made with the screwy noodles. You know, they're kind of screwy. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, cavatappi or crappie or I don't, I don't know. know. I think crappie's a fish. Anyhow. <laughs> no, that's crappy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> It's also a restaurant we know about yeah, that we crappy. will not really mention on this video in any depth. Not there anymore. She's done. Okay. Anyhow, uh, so I asked the, the waiter. We had a great waiter. It's the same guy we've had here a couple of times. And uh, <clears throat> I asked him if he would have them put some of the spicy seasoning into the Alfredo sauce, which they did. And wow, it was delicious. They knocked it out of the park. Uh, we also had the fried pickles as an appetizer. They nah, were good. Nah, they were okay. They just needed some zing. They were fair to middling at best. I wouldn't recommend them. Uh, but hey, we came for dinner. We didn't come for the appetizer, so it's not a big deal. Uh, definitely not a, a, a deal breaker at all. Grill 29, great place to go. Oh. Uh, I had a uh, uh, nut brown ale. No. No, it wasn't nut brown ale. It was a brown Something ale. It was a brown ale, but it was uh, Rocket City or Rocket. I don't. Know. We're doing no good here. Anyhow, I had it that. It was a beer. Yeah, I had a beer. <laughs> I had a beer, and I've got pants on. And I had a Kool Aid sangria. Yeah. Yeah. That was good also. Oh, and I had a uh, Bloody Mary that was quite tasty, uh, made with Tito's vodka. Uh, I don't know what the mix was. It doesn't really matter, I guess, because the waiter himself made it and did a very good job. I like my Bloody Marys just a little bit more spicy uh, than the mixes tend to come, and uh, he did a good job on that. 
So, uh, I guess that's about it on the restaurant, yeah? That's it. So now we're gonna walk around the Providence area and look at some of the things that are available and show you guys. And then we're going to the bakery. Oh yeah, the bakery. They make these strawberry cupcakes that are absolutely delicious. And anyone that really knows me knows that I love strawberry cake. So. Even though I've been on a, a pretty hardcore diet because of cholesterol that may or may not be a little bit too high, according to my primary care provider, what does she know? She knows everything. Apparently. Uh, and I'll never say any different. Because <laughs> she's smart. Uh, anyhow, so I may get a cupcake and splurge today since we've already splurged yeah. in a pretty large way. Yeah. So. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. See you later. walking down Providence Boulevard and we're going to show you some of the different things behind us you're seeing Grill 29 and then there is Moe's Original Barbecue.